Good morning. Today I'm gonna make Lech Majun. This was specifically requested from my friend Ruth. So here you are Ruth, you're gonna get the recipe today for Lech Majun, which is an Armenian pizza. It originated in Armenia and it is eaten as a street food in Turkey and in the Middle East. We also have it in Greece. It's um, uh, flatbread uh, with uh, meat and um, you use spices and it doesn't have any cheese so it does resemble a pizza but not exactly so I'm gonna start off with the dough I'm gonna make some fresh dough today and here I have uh, two cups of flour so what I have used is wholemeal and uh, all-purpose flour so this is strong wholemeal bread uh, for, uh, bread flour and white all-purpose flour you can use just white all-purpose flour or you can use um, whole meal whatever you would like so we're gonna have two cups of flour then we're going to use yeast because we need that to raise so we're gonna use about for the two cups we're gonna use one teaspoon of yeast this is instant dried yeast and it doesn't need any mixing up so you just use that one teaspoon you put that in here okay and then we're going to add a bit of salt so we need approximately a teaspoon and a quarter a bit over a teaspoon of salt and we're going to add on this mixture one tablespoon of olive oil Okay, so one tablespoon of olive oil and then we're going to need to add in here one cup of water. This is lukewarm water so it doesn't need to be very hot, you have to be careful with that. I think I may need to add a little bit more water but we will see that once I put it in. So I'm just going to add the rest, that's it. Okay, and that's all the ingredients that you will need for the dough. So what you have to do now is just start mixing that. And you need to make it as a nice uh, soft dough. You need to make sure that it doesn't stick on your fingers. And if it does, all you have to do is just add a little bit more flour. And this is nice and soft, but I think I will need just a tiny bit more flour. You can put that in a food processor, in a mixer uh, with a dough hook if you want. If you don't want to get your hands all sticky and dirty. But I think this is good enough. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to add a bit of flour on my surface right here. Okay, right that. And just gonna have to twist that over here. I'm just gonna put this aside. And I'm just gonna remove these extra pieces of dough which are stuck in my fingers. And start kneading this dough until it absorbs all the flour that you have put on your surface. All right, so you just continue on kneading your dough and I think it's almost ready. It's quite elastic as you can see, just like Play-Doh and you just put your finger inside and that raises up so it's nice and elastic and ready to be set aside. So all you have to do is just put it into a bowl and just oil the surface a little bit of the bowl so it doesn't stick in there. That's it, that's great. And you put your dough bowl in there and cover it with um, a dry clean cloth or you can even put cling film on there and just leave it aside at a, at a warm place so it can raise and double up in uh, size. Um, we'll let that rest and then we'll crack on by making our mixture for the topping, all right? All right, so we just let our dough to raise and we're going to continue by making the mixture so we can, um, as the topping and we're gonna have right here, we're gonna put in a food processor 
one onion, then half a green uh, bell pepper, half a red bell pepper, um, and I also have yellow bell pepper, so I'm gonna use all of those. One tomato, uh, some sweet paprika, chili flakes, salt, pepper, olive oil, and ground cumin. Uh, so as I said, this does have a bit of a kick, a bit of a spice, so you can put some chilies inside and um, I'm just going to leave that a little bit at the end. And um, you can also add inside the parsley. And I'm going to start right here by putting in my food processor the onion. So you can just put them all together inside here. All right. And... I'm going to add the parsley and three cloves of garlic, okay, one tomato and the bell peppers. You might not take all of that, so I'm going to have to start blitzing that up and then I will put the rest. Okay, so let me just start with this. Okay, so I've put in the rest of my peppers inside and now I need to add my spices. Um, I'm going to start by just putting your regular salt and pepper, okay? So you add your salt. You can also do that when you start mixing your um, meat. Pepper. And you can adjust that when you need. Olive oil. Okay, and you don't need to have an exact quantity of that, you just add your spices according to your liking. I've got cumin in here, so I'm adding some cumin, all right, and some sweet paprika, smoked paprika that I have right here, okay, and I will also use just a few um, chili flakes, uh, these are chipotle chili flakes, but I'm going to use just a little bit right now because the kids don't like it too spicy and I will add them at the end for a bit of an extra kick for uh, the adults. And I'm just gonna give that another go in the food processor so it's all nicely mixed. Okay, so we're just gonna uh, combine right now the mince with the vegetables that we mixed and I'm going to use uh, beef uh, mince and you can use for the lachma june either beef or lamb. So I have about 300, 250 to 300 grams of um, uh, minced beef right here okay That's and you add all of your vegetables that you mixed up and it has a really lovely smell from the tomato and the uh, peppers onion and garlic and the parsley as well as the spices Okay, great. I'm just going to put that aside. And all you have to do right now is just start combining and mixing that up. And this is your topping. This will, will go on top of the flatbread of the lac Majun that we are just going to um, open up the dough right now. So this is ready. As I said, I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, more salt and a little bit of pepper. Okay, that's great. And then I'm gonna put it aside so I can start by mixing my dough. Okay, opening my dough, not mixing it. I'm just gonna leave this aside. Okay, so our dough is ready right now. So I'm just going to flour my surface so I can open up my dough into a flatbread. You just put a little bit of flour on it, okay, and here it is, and all I need is just to go ahead and uh, cut it into four portions, and this stretches up, that's it, and you start opening up each dough. So remember, we want to make it nice and thin, and it doesn't have to be at a precise round or oval shape. Um, you can stretch it with your hands if you want, okay? And that's it.
you can for the same dough you can make just uh, two larger ones instead of four smaller ones but since we're a family of four we're, we'll each have our own lachmajun okay so this is nicely done as you can see it's thin I'm just going to put that aside and then I will open all the other ones okay so we've opened up all of our flatbreads and now what we have to do is just uh, put them inside um, your pan right here and I'm going to use some uh, baking sheet and I'm gonna lay this on top okay and I'm gonna start off with this one and here I just need to add a little bit of oil and some of my mixture And you just spread that on there. And as you put it in, you just kind of put that inside the dough. And top it with a little bit of olive oil again on top of it. Okay, and then you just put that in the oven. The oven needs to be at approximately 200 degrees and this just needs um, about 15 to 20 minutes inside there, but always check it. It's always good to check it because it all depends on um, each oven. Okay, so we'll see it very, very soon. Okay, so our uh, lachmatron is ready. We're gonna take it out of the oven and we've let that inside for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna take it out here and the rest, because we've made four. And this one is done. And now we are ready to uh, let that cool down a little bit and we can start by putting the rest of our garnishes, which is some tomatoes, red onions, parsley, chilies, um, and uh, some lemon uh, wedges. Okay, so I'm gonna this one. Again, just a bit of olive oil on top. Okay. Your parsley. Red onions, you can omit that if you don't want it, but it is quite nice and crunchy as a texture. You can put some chili on top and your lemon, and you finish that up with a bit of olive oil. All right, so this is your lachmajun, as you can see. All right, hope you enjoy it.